Hi everyone. Uh, today we will learn the very, very basic of uh, shading. So we will learn the, the color model and we will learn the very uh, simple shader code uh, for changing color and changing uh, the rendering result. Okay, I will shortly ex uh, explain the human vision system. So this is the model of our human eye. So in human eye, there is some lens and the iris. Iris control the, the brightness, the quantity of input uh, light and and the, the in in retina there are two kind of uh, sensor cell. The, the first thing is load cell, and second thing is the cone cell. Load cell is sensing the brightness, and cone cell is for sensing the color. Okay, we 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 have two kind of sensors in our human uh, vision system. So we can sense brightness, and then you can sense the color. Okay, so load cell is. Load cell is look, look like this, so it looks like a load. Word, so so we call it word cell. And then in cone cell, there are three kind of cone cell. There are three kind of cone cell. Each each kind of cone cell has some uh, their the sensing the wavelengths. So for example, the one is the for blue, one is for green, one is for red. So, so the the combination of this sensing value will processed in our brain, and then we we decide that the this color is something or this color is something, and then we we decide color by the processing these three kind of signal. Okay, so so. Human vision system has three color of uh, sensor, so it means that it is possible to simulate if we make some different color combination by just only three wavelengths, okay? With the blue wavelengths and with green color and with the red color, then with the combination of these three signal, then we can we can uh, generate the whole spectrum of color. The human can feel that, oh, it is this color, or it, it is yellow color, or it is orange color, but it, but the, 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 the right original light is not, may not, the, the, the may not, the orange color. So it is combination of red, uh, it is combination of red, green, blue combination, then we can generate orange color. Okay, so, so, it is like this. So for example, you are watching the, the LCD the monitor. If you, you were watching LCD monitor, the LCD monitor only display red and green and blue color. But you can see the, the magenta color or cyan color or yellow color. It is just the, the, if we add red and green, then we can feel yellow. It is yellow color. Or if we add blue color and green color, then we can feel we'll, it is cyan, cyan color. Okay? And if we add red and blue, then we can feel the, it is magenta. Okay? If we add all of this red, green, blue, then we, we can feel that it is white color, light. So that is RGB color model. So in printing, we use that, uh, the opposite color, magenta, cyan, and yellow. So if we mix the cyan ink with the magenta ink, then its, it's color became uh, blue. Then if we mix the cyan color and yellow color, then we can get the green color, 
then yellow and magenta added, then red color. So if all three color is added, then we can get black color. Okay, that is the CMY model. Sometimes we call it CMY K model because because in printing the black color is widely most most widely used for printing. So black ink is especially added to to express the brightness. So so in case of ink printing ink the CMY and K is color model is used. So. It means that uh, if we change RGB model into CMY model, then it is one-to-one -one mapping. But in case of uh, RGB to CMY K tran uh, transformation or mapping, then there are so many solutions. So many solutions. For example, uh, the RGB 000 is we can express it with with. Uh, CMY, okay, CMY 000, okay, and RGB 0, and K 1.0, so black 1.0 is black, so RGB 0, 0 is sometimes we can say it like this, or 1.0, 1.0, 1.0 is also black, so there are so many solutions, many solutions, so one to many mapping is in, in case of RGB to a CMI K, the conversion. Okay. So sometimes we express the color with with different different way. So first thing is the HSV model. HSV model is a hue. Hue is meaning color. And then saturation is some kind of a how the vivid, how much vivid color is it? So if the saturation is big, then it is very, so very vivid color. And if saturation is very small, then it is near, it is very near to white color or black color. And value is brightness. So the low value is the near the black and. If value is big, then we can get more bright color. So, HSV model is one-to-one -one mapping between RGB. RGB model can be the mapped into HSV model. Okay, so and also we have uh, the very uh, strange thing is that the, we we feel that the the blue color, the, the violet color, okay, violet color and red color is very far from in graph. The wavelength is totally different, but sometimes we, in human vision, we feel that the violet or the magenta is very near to red color. So, it is because of signal processing with the three value, then this this the driving curve make the margin color. So, 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 in HSV model, hue is expressed with with some rotation angle. So, zero degree is red. Okay, so zero color zero degree color so hue value is same as three hundred sixty. Value so because zero degree is same as six hundred six. Sorry, three hundred sixty degree, and zero degree is the same value. So, hue is expressed with angle, and then the 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 saturation value and saturation and value is expressed with zero to one point zero. So, it can be expressed with protein point, but but in internally, the, it is expressed with the byte or unsigned integer or something like that. Okay, the YUV and YCBCR model is very similar to to uh, HSV model. So, actually, human vision is much more sensitive in brightness. So we set 
more bit. If if we have a 32 bit, then 16 bit will be assigned to brightness, and then we can set 16 bit for color and hue, color and set saturation value, hue and saturation value. So it is much effective way to express the the color. Okay, so the YUV and and YCBCL value is so, so, so it is same equation like this. So first we must we can we calculate the luminous value, and then we we calculate the U is P, uh, blue minus luminous, and the V is red minus the luminous. And then it 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 can it can be more effectively save the data to express color information, okay? That is the color model, and then, okay, the, we already uh, learned the, the camera correction, so our eye is not linear, so it, it, actually it is linear color, but we feel that, oh, the linear encoding is not same as our, so, Oh, this one is linear, so it doesn't look like linear. So, oh, this in general, human think that this zero point five value is not zero point five. Oh, I think it is zero point seven or zero point six. So, we must change it into our human vision system. So, so we need to to change the graph with the, 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 like this. So we call it is gamma correction. So equation is look like this. So input value which is changed with the, the gamma. So the power of gamma, and then we scale it with this constant value, then you can get this graph, okay? So we call it a correction, okay? And so, so if it is not gamma corrected, then we call it a linear color. And then if it is gamma corrected, then we call it the sRGB color, linear RGB and sRGB. Okay, scale, scale the RGB or curved RGB. Okay. Uh, okay. So, the, and finally, the, we we will use. We will use RGB color. We will express, and we will also have another channel alpha. Alpha is opacity. We can express it in WebGL. We express the color in alpha with from zero to one point zero. Okay, so it is in WebGL. Where in WebGL does not have gamma correction function. So. Gamma correction is work of application or work of web browser. So, so we assume that the the gamma correction is automatically occurred by the web browser or graphic GPU engine. Okay, so we will not we we cannot control that gamma correction value in our web gel coding. Okay. Okay. There is another thing to learn. So pre-multiplied alpha. So we express the color with RGBA. Then, okay. It in that case, okay. So in blending, most of blending is like this. For example, color is the blending function is. The red color, for example, red color is multiplied alpha source, for example, and then it will be added into red color with alpha's destination, alpha destination and a red destination and red, red source, and that kind of blending is occurred. So, so most of the blending function need to 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 multiply with this value so for example one minus alpha source that that, that kind of blending is 
used for source of branding. So if if the alpha source and alpha color value is so pretty multiplied, for example, for example, red, green, blue, alpha is 0.5, then we multiplied it, okay? Like this. So then it will be it will be changed into 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0, and 0.5. The alpha does not change. And then it is much 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 efficient way to calculate the blending or something. Oops. I killed a mosquito. And so the pre-multiplied alpha is very useful for performance. Okay, performance. We can upgrade the performance by pre we use pre-multiplied alpha. But the problem is, if we can, we can, we, let's think about that. Okay, if alpha value is zero, then all value will be changed into zero. So if alpha equals zero, then all RGB value will be changed into pre multiplied alpha value is point changed into zero comma zero comma zero comma zero. So so one zero 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 is same as one zero one zero zero. It is because zero is multiplied to RGB component. So so we lost RGB value. We can we can lost the RGB information in case of a pre-multiplied alpha. So so it must be used carefully. So it is because if we use alpha with the original red or green blue color for other purpose, then in that case, we, sh we must not use pre-multiplied alpha, even though it is slower, it, it has a bad performance, we, sh we must not use the pre-multiplied alpha. But there is no that case, for example, we use red channel, for example, we can use red channel for stencil color, then if it is pre-multiplied alpha, we can we can get the very strange, the weird result. So, so for for that, so we need to we need to to prepare carefully. So, so decision of using the pre-multiplied alpha or not, it is used by set by context. So. In, in in initialize GL, canvas get context in canvas get context, pre multiplied alpha false then it became false. Default variable is true. No, default is false. I think. Okay, default is false. I will check. Okay. Okay, default is true. Default is true. It means that default is using pre multiplied alpha. So sometimes we can get some very weird result. We use channel or channel color value with uh, uh, very small number of uh, alpha value. For example, if the alpha is 0 0.01, then the red, if I said the red is 1.1, it changed into 0 0.01. So sometimes it became zero. So, so we, we should use it carefully, okay? This time we, we will change the, 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 the texture rendering code to, to, to understand the brightness and contrast and multiply and color channels in WebGL coding. Especially we will change and test the, the shader, especially fragment shader. <coughs> I copied that uh, from uh, from texture previous tutorial code and then copied into shader basic shader basic and then I modified the code with uh, yeah so it is possible to display uh, the cube with my face 
so I changed in the code, removed the code about the 2 by 2 matrix, 2 by 2 text image. Then I changed into the HILE 128, and then I changed the code for fragment shader, uh, vertex shader code into the. So I they multiply the UV with 2, then the result will be like this. Okay, oh yeah, okay. So I'm trying to test more code, so I will change some more. Well, I will make it much more bigger image. So to do that, I will zoom in into the cube. So in that case, I need to change the look at or the field of view. So okay, the perspective. I will, I will look at my position is 2.0 and then the, the field of view is like this. So I will uh, reduce the field of view. So then I will change into 2. Point, uh, or uh, I will change into 3. Okay. 3. Then the cube will be bigger. Okay. So I can see that my face is some mirrored, repeated, and then, okay, then I will try to explain the color in fragment shader, okay? So in fragment shader, uh, we can change the color. So, for example, there, is, we, the, the, there, there was an original color was the, the original color was given by the vertex as a vertex attribute. So I will remove the all color value and then I used only texture value. So I can mix it 0 0.5 and then 0 0.5. Then, okay, reload it. Then, okay. So we can see the color uh, with color, color, and the texture is mixed with with uh, uh, to fifty percent by fifty fifty percent. Okay, okay. Then I will show you some some information. I will change it into zero again, and then I will change into one. Okay, think about it. What does it mean if we multiply? If it, I want to change the color. So if the the primary color will be the texture color. So I want to change the color of texture. So if I multiply it two times two, then it will have from zero to two. But the the color value over the 1.0 will be clamped into the cut into the 1.0 then what's the result okay so I will reload it oh it became yeah overshooted image okay it became overshooted image so okay the, the 0 point 2.1 is too big so I will change it to 1.1 then it became yeah slightly brighter image okay so what's the difference think about it what's the difference for example I add 0 0.1 Okay. It looks similar to, but it is different because, okay, I will try to, ch I will add 0 0.5, then look at the black area, okay, black area became the 0, the, the 0, 0 0.0 became 0 0.5, so it is shifted color space is shifted so 
it is quite different to multiplying with 2. I'll change it. I multiply 2. If I multiply it with 2, black was still black. So, graph will be changed into, okay, for example, If there is some kind of a graph, then if I multiply the two, okay, it's so a one one. If I multiply it with two, then graph will be changed into like this, okay. So we cannot get uh, we cannot get some very strange result. But black is still black, but white will be zero point point five will be changed into one. So we can get brighter image. Okay, so if we add multiply 2, if we add plus 0 0.5, then the graph will be changed into like this. Okay, like this. So it is quite different. So the black color will be changed into 0 0.5, and then if over the 0 0.5, all value over the 0 0.5 will be changed into 1, okay? So, it looks the same, it is brighter image, but the effect is quite different, okay? So, okay, and then, let's try the very strange thing, okay? We can get Okay, we can test with, I copy that text, sure 2D, sample, sampler, 2D, text, code. What does it mean? So I squared it. So if I squared it, then result it will be like this. It looks very high contrast. It is because if I multiply, it, it means that x square. So that graph it will be like this. So dark part will be more dark, and bright part will be bright. So more bright. So it means that it changed the contrast so with that we can change the contrast with the it is it is x square we can we can control the, the contrast with x 1.5 scale x 1.7 scale that is correction is possible okay if we make it x square then we can get very high contrast image okay like this and then we can shift or also it is possible to switching the color okay okay i will back to the one color then we can inverse color with 1.0 okay we can inverse color with 1.0 minus Okay, texture 2D is RGBA vector 4 value. If with this minus with the scale value, then it considered as 1.0, 1.0, 1.0. .0. Okay, so then it can be, oh, sorry, 1.0 minus texture 2D. Right. Oh, something wrong. Okay, result is disappeared. Why? It is because the alpha value of this color will be changed into zero, then it makes trouble. So we need to change it with onto that. Okay, then we need to change the alpha value 
to gel flag color dot a equal we, we must change into 1.0 back to 1.0 so then uh, we can get result oh yeah the inverse image we can get it okay so we can explain we can express our rendering result with RGB value with from 0, 0.0 to 1.1. 1 .1. That's all we can do in in color space. So it is so that color value will be expressed with your WebGL GPU GPU device, and then it will be displayed in your screen. Okay, we want we on we only control the pixel with the value of RGBA and then the, we will learn how to express the, the natural phenomenon or how to express shading how to express the shadow how to express the shiny part that we will learn next time okay